In recent weeks, you may be wondering why the Bellarmine baseball team, who typically calls the diamond their home, has been practicing here at Owsley B. Frazier Stadium, where the field hockey team typically practices at night. And the reason is for an upcoming charity game against the field hockey team. Coach Blankenbaker, the women's field hockey coach, told me how the idea for the game came about. Matt Tyner, the baseball coach, approached me about having a benefit for Breast Cancer Awareness Month um, in October, which we participated in a lot of other schools. We've never had one here. So I said, I thought it'd be great. Um, the guys, you know, a lot faster and bigger. Right. But we have the skill and the knowledge of the game that they don't have. I think it'll be great. I mean, it's going to be a fun event. I think the guys are going to have a good time, and our girls will definitely have fun. The field hockey girls have found it an interesting task trying to teach the baseball team just how to play their sport. We have to teach them everything, from rules to how to hold the stick, to shooting, to positions, everything. I literally asked them how, to, how they hold the stick, they all went like this. Yeah. Although this will be the first time any Bellarmine baseball member has played an official game of field hockey, they're fairly confident in what the outcome is going to be. Us? <laughs> Guys. Confidence says us. Real, <laughs> reality real, reality no. says we're going to get smoked. <laughs> but it's going to be a great time for a great cause. Matt Tyner, the coach of the men's baseball team, has a newfound respect for the game of field hockey. The, our girls are pretty talented, you know, and that's why I said I certainly don't want to embarrass ourselves, and hopefully our athleticism will take over and we'll be able to somewhat compete. But. Uh, they're pretty good. I mean, they've got great stick handling ability. They space well, and it uh, looks like they're going to probably put it on us a little bit, but we'll see. If you would like to catch this interesting matchup, come out to Owsley B. Frazier Stadium this Sunday at 6 p.m. This is Chris Presley reporting.